Um, Dr. Over to you, Doc, if you can just kindly please just give us a brief and an update in terms of how the COVID protocol and some of the tests uh, that has happened, how everything has gone thus far. Over to you, Doc. Um, thank you, KK. And good afternoon to everyone. Um, the Protea, the Momentum Proteas have entered into a biosecurity environment on the 8th of January. And what happened prior to that is that um, a team was identified from the current group of players and from the WSL that happened in December. And um, they had to undergo a COVID test just as a form of a screening to make sure that um, they are eligible for selection and can come and enter the BCE. So from that contingent of uh, players and management, the first round of tests uh, we had two positive, 41 members were tested, and uh, one member of uh, staff and one player tested positive. Neither of them were ill, uh, neither of them had symptoms. Um, they were dealt with, uh, with proper procedures regarding uh, isolation. They're currently in isolation, they are well, and uh, they will join uh, uh, the BCE on a later date if deemed necessary. Um, since we've arrived in Durban, our venue, um, the training facility, and subsequently the match venues will also adhere to biosecure regulations and COVID regulations that, that have been set, set out by, firstly, by the Ministry of Health and um, uh, our guidelines as uh, Cricket South Africa that we've also drawn up in uh, collaboration with uh, academic circles and uh, ministerial departments that uh, were off stake. But um, for now, I can just, uh, just give an update to say that since we've entered the BCE, uh, no management or player has tested positive. Um, the players are currently divided into small groups uh, and they will train in, in, that, um, uh, in those small groups until we do another test on them on the 13th. Uh, our camp is a, a month long, so we're going to do a, a number of serial tests just to make sure that we do not um, miss on the number of asymptomatic uh, cases that could potentially um, be infective and, and, and spread. Uh, but we currently doing well. Um, all COVID protocols are adhered to. Um, and um, currently no needles. And um, we're just looking forward to uh, the next test. From now on, we will test on a weekly basis just to make sure that uh, our players and staff safety and health is of priority uh, so that they, they can continue to, to play, play cricket and stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you, Doc. Um, before I go on, um, Doc, can you just kindly give the members of the media just an update on Dane Fanikek as well as Chloe Triumph? Um, with regards to our captain, uh, am I audible? Um, with regards to Dane Fani Kerka, captain, and, and Chloe Tryon, both of them sustained uh, lower back injuries uh, in December, and both are currently in different phases of rehabilitation. Uh, they are doing well, uh, just not eligible for this tour. Uh, but uh, everything about their rehabilitation is on track and uh, we're satisfied and we hope that uh, they will recover soon and on track so that they can join us potentially on the next tour if all goes well. All right. Thank you, Doc. I've just got uh, Zahir Adams before I hand over to the head coach. Zahir, if you can just ask your question to the team doctor before uh, the doctor has to go. Please go ahead. Uh, good morning, Dr. Uh, Zahir Adams from IL Sport. Great to hear that everybody is uh, tested negative. 
uh, just in regards to um, a Marazan though, Marazan Cup. Um, during the the last T20 World Cup, the last time the Proteus played, uh, she had a condition, and uh, how is she feeling, and how is she um, coping with her health, and is she getting is she getting the necessary uh, uh, support to to get better and, and be eligible for the Proteus again? Um, thank you for the question. Uh, Marizan is currently um, with us in in Durban, so she is part of. Uh, our camp, our play groups that is healthy. Um, she's in good condition. Uh, her health issues uh, that we encountered in in Australia have 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 been taken care of. Um, and anything subsequent that she needs, uh, she will she will get on time and on track. But for now, for for this tour, uh, everything is okay. Uh, she's in good health and. Um, I don't anticipate any problems. Thank you very much, Dr. Good news. Thank you, Zaire. Uh, Telford, and then uh, Fidos before we hand over to the head coach. Telford? Thanks, Koke. Hello, Doctor. Thanks for your time. Um, can you confirm? I'm interested to know whether the management of the COVID of COVID-19 and the way it attacks people is it is it different when it comes to women? Or is it an equal opportunity menace? It's, a, it's, it's, it's very broad, it's very varied, it changes all the time. And um, it doesn't really choose gender, it doesn't choose age. Um, uh, it attacks you, whichever gender you are, you are, whatever age you are. What we cannot predict is the severity of disease. Uh, but it really is not... Um, Thank you, Doc. Uh, Fidos, over to you. Thanks, KK. Thanks, Doc. Uh, I just want to confirm, so uh, Dane, Fadnike, and Chloe Chan are out with injury, and then there's another player that's out of the series uh, having tested positive. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate you. You can be released now. And then we'll give the opportunity to the head coach. Uh, coach, if you can just give us an update in terms of how the first couple of days have been uh, with the rest of the team. Please, over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Kiki, and good afternoon, everyone, uh, ladies and gents. I think for us, as the doctor has highlighted, it has been a challenging environment. As people call it a new norm. For us, it's what's most important is for us to make sure we can get an opportunity to play cricket. I mean, it's been a year, almost a year now since the last time we played cricket as a team. So we had a lot of camps building up to this five, to be exact. And then we knew that uh, with this new bio, bio bubbles and what needs to happen, the regulations of COVID, it, you, we needed to educate players slowly so that when we do get an opportunity like we have now to have a tour, each and everyone had, had an experience of what the, uh, the environment is gonna require from everyone. That's why the last uh, three days have been very good. I mean, players have worked extremely hard. And then we could be happy to say that everyone that has been here has, uh, has shown good form and uh, at the back of a successful WSL. And those that have played in different leagues you know, in the last uh, three months also, we have each and every one other than those that has been mentioned with the injuries. But for us so far as a team, preparation is on track and we're very happy with what we've seen so far. Thank you, Coach. Uh, without wasting any time, members of the media, please use the chat panel just to indicate if you want to ask a question to the head coach, and then we can take it from there. Fidos, you'll be the first one to take it away. Thanks, KK. Hi, Hilton. Nice to see you. Um, this was Donay ruled out. Uh, who's going to captain the side? Uh, I think for where we are is, uh, as a team and as a selection panel is one of those that is discussed. We know in the past female leagues did a very good job, so it's, um, it's a discussion that will happen closer to the time. So that's why we're just making sure we get everyone prepped, uh, prepped for the upcoming series and give everyone the opportunity to be able to make sure that they do what is required for the first game. So closer to the time, an announcement, an announcement will made to the who will take the captaincy of the upcoming tour. Uh, 
Hi, Hilton. Happy New Year to you. Um, the Proteas obviously haven't played for a very long time, but then um, neither have Pakistan. What are you expecting from the series? What, what are you hoping um, to get out of it? I think, um, Ken, for us, the, the most important, exciting thing for us is an opportunity to play cricket. I mean, it's a year that uh, we haven't had competitive cricket. So for us, it's just to get on the park first, and then we can start taking it from there. So we had a lot of warm-up games. We had a lot of camps. And that, those have went well, but you can only play for so long. Now it's an opportunity to see where the squad is and when, with the new youngsters that we have, with the high performance, hopefully one of them can put up their hand when they give an opportunity because the squads are now as not as normal as we used to. It's the bigger squads and you never know what can happen with this uh, new norm. So for us, it's, uh, at the end of the day, when, you, when representing your country, you play to win. So Pakistan is also going to come with the same. And I think both teams are looking forward to actually have an opportunity to play again. So when you look at uh, how other teams have gone around the world, you had England, Australia, New Zealand has already played a bit of cricket. So it's an opportunity now for us also burning towards the World Cup. It's a very important year for us as far as prep is concerned. So playing cricket now is the priority and then um, we'll take it as we go along. Um, hi, coach. How are you doing? Uh, Zaria. Um, coach, you spoke about the like having the fringe players around the squad now because of the norm, and, and we've seen also with the Proteus men that the bigger squads around. But surely this is it's almost like a blessing in disguise for you because if you look at the uh, the, 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 the the players that don't play international cricket, they don't get to play, they don't have access to that level of cricket, and now they're in your environment, they're in your you know in your setup. Does that has it helped actually that as, that you could work with them, that you can get them, you know, up to the standard that's required a, a, a lot quicker than, than maybe they had come in cold. Right. I, I think for us in the beginning when the pandemic broke, yes, it was frustrating because it was on the eve of an Australian tour coming home, coming to play on our shores. And uh, when when we looked at it, and it was during our off season, so we had an opportunity because also we heard from them that squads are not going to be a squad of 14, 15 players anymore. It needs to be bigger. So it gave us an opportunity now as a team, my performance, uh, uh, to be able to work with players and make sure each and everyone we can see was in high performance. So we went through what we had with players uh, in, the, in the system under 19, high performance, we invited them for the, for the opportunity to come play and to come to camp. So it gave us an opportunity to see our depth, which players are there that we can look into as a, as a squad going forward and uh, knowing we're going into a World Cup and possibly there's high performance and on 19 teams that needs to be built um, to, to work towards this year. So it gave us a good uh, indication what we have in reserves and for us it has been very good. So it, each and every one that is now being brought here, it's a squad that we've been working together for the last four or five months now. So it's nothing new to them. Even opportunity come, it's not, it's not gonna, they're not going to be shell-shocked because of where they find themselves. They've been prepped slowly. So if opportunity does arise, you know what to expect. And coach, uh, just a, a, a more looking at your senior players, they've some of them had some cricket um, yes. in the Big Bash and, and in India, like uh, particularly like somebody like Shabnam and, and Ayabonga in India as well. And how much is, is that uh, in a time when you when when you know when you're looking for positives? How much is that? <laughs> uh, you know, how much does that please you? They received a lot of positives when we were there because we had over eight players that is in representing. And for us, we could be able to see them at least play a competitive cricket and having been in an environment where at least they can train and play. It was very good for us. I mean, if you have eight of your 14 contact players that is playing in this league, it's already a plus. So hence, we felt that it gave us an opportunity to go deep and look at uh, who's the next couple of players that we can make sure we sustain this. So that uh, that's why for us now is uh, like Ken has asked the opportunity not to be able to play cricket is, is, is our priority as a team. We want to get in the middle then we can see how things goes for us. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. All the way. Thank you. Fidos, please go ahead. Thanks, KK. Hilton, I appreciate this might not be uh, your department, but obviously South Africa, Pakistan, and then later in the year, England, Pakistan are the only women's series that we know are taking place in 2021. And it just looks like women's cricket. Uh, is struggling maybe to restart, you know, after the, the lockdowns and so on. 
how, how are you planning and, and just how is it affecting you that maybe there isn't uh, a schedule and, you know, would it be enough cricket before the World Cup? No, oh, definitely, definitely not. I, I, ideally, you want to play enough, especially bowling at a 50 over World Cup. You want to play enough 50 over cricket and then at provincial level, even now you have a lot of cricketers who are going to be exposed to cricket maybe this season. So where well, there's an opportunity to play, you want to. And then I think there's a lot of talks now behind uh, closed over the operation department is looking to see where they can get content for this team to start preparing because we know we don't know what's going to happen later part of the year. And then and then for us we need to make sure that when there's where there's an opportunity we need to prepare. So yes, it's frustrating not to be able to play cricket. I mean, it's almost about a year now that we haven't had actually competitive cricket. It's tough. Hence, the girls now are looking forward to to get onto the park. And the cool thing about it is they have an opportunity to work on their conditioning now and fitness-wise, but now they're ready to want to go on and represent their country. So yes, there's talks of a couple of tours coming possibly. So if all goes well, we should have enough content uh, pandemic uh, permitting us. Telford. Um, hello, Hilton. Good to see you. Um, hi. Hello, yeah. um, how did you manage the disappointment of the cancellation? You know, it's, it's one thing when one or two players get injured, but when everybody just gets taken out of the mix like that, and I'm sure for yourself as a coach, you know, what did you say to the players to try and just ease the disappointment of the cancellations? Well, you, see, you see, when it comes to those, you are, at the end of the day, it's safety first. It's what comes. I mean, life, life matters at the end of the day. So you need to sit there and think, yes, we wanted to play. I mean, we just came out of a, a World Cup where we just finished close to get ourselves into a final or something that we're working towards. And you wanted the momentum to continue and play enough competitive cricket, especially against top teams, so that we can also keep improving in our rankings as a team and we can prepare for the World Cup. So when that happened, I think it was a blow for each and everyone in the squad because it was so close to the time when it was called off. But this time, you know, it was not in our control. And unfortunately, the game we play, we can only control what we can. And then from there, we had to look at what we did that we need to do as a team and look at what positive that were there were for us. I think, like I said, in hindsight, it gave us an opportunity, like um, I just highlighted before, to go look at the depth of our country, what needs to happen is there. And in the back of the WSL, now you could see there's a couple of youngsters that's looking like, you know, they're picking up their hand, understanding where we're going because they've been in the environment for so long. It's something that we wouldn't have had. So for us, I think we look at a positive control what we can and then we move forward. Firstly, uh, just hold on. Before you uh, go on, I just want to fix the coach's mic because it's not going through. So I just want to put him off his uh, headphones. Yeah, he's consistent from the Just say something. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right, Percy, please feel free. Go ahead. Thank you so much, Kiki. Um, that's to you, Yilte. Um, Yilte, you need to have a few friends in Afrikaans and Afrikaans in this moment. You have to say, Yilte, I've heard a few words what the doctor has said. You have to say, how long are you now in the bio-borrel? How long are you now there? And I remember that you have to say, when is the first match? You want to say, as a group, as a, as a group, as a group, this bio-borrel environment. My tweede vraag, um, um, coach, als ik mag. Um, die afwezigheid van natuurlijk van jouw gereelde kaptein en bijvoorbeeld um, um, Chloe. Hoe groot van het rugslag is dit om niet ervaren spelers zo zullen te eten? Ik zal maar de volgende vraag op later staan om vraag. Dank je, dank je, Percy. Ik denk voor ons in eerste instantie, die, die, die baie babbel is, is iets baie vreemd voor allemaal. Het is een baie moeilijke en een speler, als je kan nog zien, al die... Ik ga nog steeds naar, naar wat met die ogen woont te sturen. Je wil nog steeds doen wat je kon. Want van hulle op elkaar als landplaats gezien, hulle wil met chat en weet en social distancing en maskers en alles. Het maakt het bijna moeilijk. So, ons, ons als een spanners moet ons zeker maken, ons, ons, ons beheer wat ons kan. Ik zie altijd wat je wil hebben als, als, als een spanner. Want tussen spanprijkjes en zo so, moet ons hierdie type platforms gebruiken om te vertellen. Je kan niet in een kamer zitten en je vertelt hoe je oud was. Tot ons weet wat is die pad voor en toe met je virus niet. Maar op die oomlik, Ik moet zeggen, die spelers zeggen dat het, het, het zo ver die, die gedrag is bij goed, dat ze verstaan waar we het staan. En wat ook wel voor die tijd dat we gehad hebben om te voorbereiden voor jullie. En ons eerste game is die toen achter een soort tussen nou en dan, is om zeker te maken ons oefenen en spelen een paar oefenwedstrijden om zeker te maken allemaal het komen in die gang. Maar ons laatste 50 over wedstrijd was eerst een 
verlede jaar hierdie tijd gewees, soos die jaar laas, wat ons even over game gespeel, en so is ons seker maak om steeds weer bij so daar al die besties wat nog gedoen word, en weer oefen om dit te, so is ook is, ons is baie happy met die oefen, en so ver voorbereiding die laatste drie dag, is baie goed, en ons gaan nu eerst tot die einde, tot die eerste week in, in februari, as een span, so, dit gaan lang wees, maar op die einde van die dag, ons, ons kan net, ons, 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 ons dankbaar vir die, op, op, vir die geleentheid, om weer te kan kriek te speel, en speel is om die land te kan teenwoordig. Thank you, coach. Tony? Sorry, kijk, kijk. Oh, do you have a follow-up, Percy? No, no, just my second question to coach was, I'm just to ask him in Afrikaans, just how big of a setback is it losing these senior players, these two captains, Chloe and Danae, in Afrikaans, please. Dit is baie groot, vir die ene rede, want jy weet nie hoe die jaar gaan uitbrei om met alles wat ons het, hier die virus en alles is so. Wanneer daar geleentheid is om cricket te speel, wil jy al jou beste spelers weer om te kan speel vir hulle land, want jy weet nie wanneer die volgende geleentheid is so. Maar as die mens om weet dat in een ander oogpunt kyk, is dat van die spelers wat een geleentheid gaan kry, en daar kan kan wees wat hulle kan doen, en dit maak nie die groep nie sterker, so ons kyk na dit en as ons span om omvorm te beweeg en jy weet elk enige ene wat nou geleentheid kree om te speel moet wees wat hulle kan doen op ene van die dag die span om omvorm te beweeg. Thank you, Percy. Sonny, you can go ahead. Hello, Sonny, are you still there? Hi, I am, but my reception is a bit dodgy, so I might cut out. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear, you can please go ahead. Okay, quickly. Um, just in terms of um, the fact that some play have some players haven't played in almost a year, and some have played. Um, Hilton, are you expecting that there'll be rustiness? Um or difference in rustiness between players and just how do you manage that and how much time do you sort of give your players to all sort of be on the same level of fitness um, and how important will competition be going forward? Rustiness will always be there and with the, the longer you don't play the game, I think at the end of the day you can only prepare as much as you can. You can bowl and hit as many balls in the net as you can at the end of the day. We all know that competitive cricket is a different level. You want to get out there where you can compete. So for players that we have that has been rusty, everyone has played a bit of who's year has played a bit of cricket, which is T20 cricket. And maybe so we haven't had, been exposed to 50 over cricket since last year when we were in New Zealand. So we have good memories, fond memories from that series, and uh, we can talk about that. And now we have to look at what we have, your conditions that we have, and prepare accordingly. And if you feel happy with the first three days that we had at camp, from the fitness test, from the COVID, everything that we had, protocols that need to be put in place, that has been very different since the last time we met as a team representing our country. So the rustiness is something we're working hard on, and players are working extremely hard around that. And at the end of the day, we will just make sure that mentally they're prepared for what is coming. Thank you, Coach. Uh, Ken, just before you go ahead, uh, let me give Percy and then you'll take the last one, Ken. Percy, over to you. Thank you so much, Kake. Mr. Afvilder, can I ask you a question? You said in your earlier answer that you played more than a year last international cricket. What analysis can you do from Pakistan? Is there anything you want to do? Do you think you are strong enough for this span that now in this land is? Yeah. Kan jy het vraag, het jy genoeg samen navorsing gedoen rondom Pakistan? Die laaste series wat ons gespeel het in Pakistan was by die huis en was baie competitief reeks gewees. En ons kon sien as een span wat bezig was om te groei as een sterke spel, as een baie sterke span. En ons het mekaar gespeel, tegen mekaar gespeel in die wereldbeker. So, dit is die laaste wat ons tegen mekaar gespeel het en waar ons soot is, hulle sok in die selle boot. Hulle het ook die cricket gehad, sê dat die wereldbeker nie so. Wat goed gaan wees is, ons gaan sien wat die span op die dag is bezig om, op die einde van die dag, die basis is goed gaan nie verander. So, ons gaan my net moet harder werk aan dit, en maak seker op die dag, want ons weet, ons het nog steeds genoeg matchwinners in die groep, en op die einde van die dag is ons seker te maak as begin die nul, wanneer die eerste boog gebouw word. En allemaal net om te verstaan, op die einde van die dag is, eerst is een geleentheid om weer cricket te speel, 
je hebt in Wolfer, in Woerdag, Roland en ook in de kandidaat Gons. Allemaal wat op die veld gaan gevoel om te wen. En dan weer die oppositie wat ons kent speelt. Dat is een baie sterke oppositie en dat gaan het niet uh, lightly vatten.